Hey guys, so I wasn't really doing anything interesting today, but I knew I wanted to upload So I'm just going to be talking about some topics And I just wanted to give you guys a little update on what's going on with me So recently I've been doing ballet and then dance and then teaching and school and gymnastics And I really like it But guess what? I injured myself I don't know how um, my foot just started hurting, so I'm not supposed to put weight on it for a while. So today when I was teaching, I had like an assistant and stuff because I couldn't do anything. And I was wearing a boot. So today, I'm going to rant about some topics. But the thing is that, what is the point of coming on here and complaining to you guys? There is none. So I'm going to be on here. Because even though I'm not happy, well I'm happy like in general, like with life. But like, I'm like kind of upset right now because of like my foot and stuff and I can't train. Mm. So I was like, what is that going to do for you guys? Nothing. So I'm looking up topics and I'm going to rant about them. But I'm only allowed to say good things. So I found this thing. It's called Deep Conversation Topics. And one of the questions is, do you find purpose in your work? So this is something I kind of talk about a lot, but I kind of don't talk about it at all. So if you guys don't know, I'm a dance teacher. Hi. I teach jazz and tap classes and I sub, I fill in here and there. So my purpose for work, when I first started dancing, I was really sad. I don't know if you guys knew this, but if you want to like hear my whole shebang about how dance like saved my life pretty much, you can go watch my national title videos. I talked about it there, so I'll link that down below. I teach so I can help kids who are like me who felt like if they ever feel like they don't have a purpose or if they like don't have hope dance can be that for them and dance helped me a lot and I wanted to help other kids and sometimes when you get the wrong teacher it doesn't help you the way that it should which is something I learned. I just want to make sure that the kids I come across if they need it that's what I'll be for them, if that makes sense. I look so bad today. Ugh, I'm out doing my hair. So yeah, I do it for that reason, so I can like um, pass on what dance did for me. And dance, it. If you don't want to dance as a career, that is fine. I like have no problem with that. Like I don't get the teachers who are like, why are you here? Whatever. Dance teaches discipline. It teaches responsibility. It teaches you how to work with others, it teaches you to follow directions, um, it lets you be creative, it makes you money sometimes, if you um, do it as a career, it makes you money, it teaches you how to take care of your body, like I dance has shaped me into the person I am, not to be conceited, but I like the person that I am and the person I'm becoming and a lot of that has to do with um, dance being a part of my life so that's the purpose in my work next the next thing is how did you meet your best friend i started dancing when i was like 11 ish like almost 12 um and then i stopped because i had surgery um but basically i took dance with baby i took a few classes here and there and our dance teacher moved studios i think i like posted about how i was like um dancing somewhere else now i don't know i don't really remember and baby texted me she was like what happened and like i didn't know her i thought it was i didn't think it was weird but i was like because she used to scare me like i would be in class and she'd be like put your foot and i'd be like <laughs> she used to scare me okay so the next topic that we're going to rant about is makeup i like makeup i don't know some people don't like it that's fine um some people don't like wearing it to me, it doesn't really make a difference, except that you just kind of have to be a little careful. I think it's important to be comfortable without makeup and with makeup. And don't be running around telling people that they should or should not wear makeup. Or like, when people come to school with makeup, I don't think it's appropriate to be like, you look so good. Because what if, like, they might take that, like, as I look bad without makeup. Or if someone comes without makeup and you say, oh, like, you're still pretty. Or, like, oh, you look good. Then they'll be like, oh, I don't look good with makeup. Like, people can take it that way. And I think it's just important to be very, um, cautious while giving compliments. Like, if you tell someone, like, oh, you look skinny today. 
and then like they're gonna take that as oh i like look fat every other way or they can and it's the same thing if you like comment on how they look without makeup i just think it's a very sensitive thing to comment on just stuff that that they might stuff that they might not be insecure about and i'm not i'm like saying this but like people can be insecure about anything but i hope you understand what i mean it kind of makes no sense it's kind of contradictory but i just i just get nervous it makes no sense i just don't want to like make anyone insecure about how they look on all other days and make them feel like they have to look that way every single day because they'll be they won't get compliments if they don't i hope that makes sense it probably doesn't that literally <sighs> so i like makeup i mean and if i think you can compliment people's makeup like i like your eyeshadow because that's cool but don't be like oh you look good with makeup or you look good without makeup I'm not telling you not to do that. I'm just saying people might take it the wrong way. And that kind of stresses me out. And that might just be me like being over analytical of everything. I don't know. Maybe that can be up for discussion. Comment down below what you guys think about complimenting people about their makeup. How they look with or without makeup. And I know I've done it like a few times. The girls will be like, oh, like I look so bad. I'm not wearing any makeup today. And I'm like, girl, you look nice. But I don't know. Like the other day, I told one of my friends... Because she wasn't wearing makeup and she was like, I'm not wearing makeup, my eyes look weird. I was just like, you just look more youthful. You look full of youth. And like, I don't know. I guess I'm, I just get nervous that people are going to take what I say the wrong way. And maybe I shouldn't be, but also I think it's really important to be considerate of other people's feelings um, when you talk to them. Because you don't know like their past and what they've gone through. Um, I just don't want to like hit like a trigger point like on accident. Does that make sense? Okay, so the next, the last topic we're going to talk about is mental health. And I think, you know what you guys, mental health is hard. <sighs> People get stressed out over different things and I think that's important to realize. And on my mirror, I have this quote from one of my dance teachers. Um, he probably doesn't watch my videos, but if he does, hi Jeremy. Um, and it is, do not write someone else's story. And I think that's so important. And that's like, I will like, preach that till the day i die like do not write someone else's story people get stressed out over different things and you don't know about and people have had different upbringings that you don't know about and different experiences that you don't know about so you are in no place to be judging someone because you don't know what they're going through that day you can't get frustrated with people because again you don't know what they're going through that day one of the examples he gave was um you can be mad at someone because you said hi to them in the lobby and they ignored you but Maybe they didn't hear you, and maybe they were ignoring you, but you um, can't be one to assume people's perspectives and what's going on in their lives. And I think that's so important. So just treat people with kindness and always communicate effectively, and it'll just help you overall. And if you think life is getting a little too difficult, you things you can do, do what feels right to ease up on yourselves and take care of yourselves you guys so yeah that's my vlog for the day um hope you guys enjoyed me talking about this um i know i said i wasn't gonna be negative but i feel like i kind of was sorry guys um i'm trying to get better at that so yeah i'll see you guys in my next vlog bye